five Gwen Sticky. I am still making these necklaces and I thought I'd come on and um, show you how I've made these and what I've made. So first of all, let me just tell you I have a previous video that I I did uh, maybe a week ago and I did show um, some of these and others that um, my mom made, my um, daughter made. And so if you go back to that one, you'll see that. I've had this for a long time, all these supplies, and decided, um, well, my daughter wanted to make it for Mother's Day as a um, kind of uh, activity for the day. And so uh, the kids made some, and <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So I just want to show you that I also found another set of um, these memory glass and so I made a couple of these. I found these in my stash and um, this one and I they're by Ranger and I don't think they make them anymore but um, I found some of those and it comes separate with glass and I think it's see this is um, uh, 24 pieces of glass and you use two so it's like 12 fits 12 of those frames but um, they're more like slide um, very thin for like uh, you know like your slides for the microscope type of the glass and um, so I found these all this stuff and so I did make a couple and I'll show you those first so, the one I made, first of all, see, I think I made this one first. So, I made the square one, which is one and a half by one and a half, and it, you know, is able to use more space than these small ones that are one inch. Okay, so I, I think I like this size. And then on the back, I used a, a different paper. Um, this is the same paper line, but it's a different paper from Hobby Lobby and I thought since this is not glued in um, this can be the whole picture can be taken out and put a new one in and I thought I could put some kind of message or you know something uh, stamped on there so and I did put a little um, charm on here some charms on this ball chain so I have this and that came out cute and then I have this other one the long one this one is three inches long and one inch wide and I do like that one um, I think they make uh, something similar that on Etsy you can find a, a lot of these kind of things but I don't think they have this particular memory box one I haven't seen it but maybe the size this one has uh, both sides open so I did a, a stamp you know the washi stamp that I have um, and also some pattern paper I did pieced it and to um, coordinate it together I put a stamp on here uh, and so these are also this is the washi tape stamp and then these two pieces are one inch um, one inch squares that I've had in my stash like this. I think it comes with that Craft Fantastic line. I think you could still get some of this type of um, papers to put in these necklaces, the pans. So this one, I'll just show you the memory glass. I had to research this because I didn't know how to do it, but there's a little hole here and you just have to put it in the hole it goes in the hole and then it makes a square and then you push this down and when you get the glass in you can, it just moves you know you can I don't want to play with it too much it might break but um, apparently I only have two more of those but lots of glass <laughs> so anyway that's how this one came out and I put a little charm on here and I did do the um, lace just to see how it would look. Lace with some, um, a little 
satin ribbon that I had in my stash. Um, because my mom said she, this, these necklaces bother her. I think it's the metal that bothers her neck. And so she wanted to have a like ribbon on it. So I just tried it out to see if she'd like that. So I did make those. Um, those are the ones I found in my stash. And then um, these are the trays. So if you didn't see my last video, these are the trays that you can buy. They have them on Etsy relatively inexpensive so there's gunmetal there's silver I think there's antique silver too I don't have that um, then there's black good for the guys and uh, a bronze and then there is this antique kind of gold casting looking I don't know what they actually call it antique gold and then I do have um, the round and these are one inch, so this is a one inch round, one inch square. And then, for some reason, I don't know where I got these, but I have these circles, one inch circle, and then I have the heart. So, on this one, I did use, um, not the glass, but I did use the um, glossy accents. If you don't know what that is, it's this. Everybody, I think, pretty much knows that. You can get it at Michael's or Joanne's or anywhere. Um, and I poured it in and let it set and then it overnight and it, and it comes out pretty nice. I like this. Um, then the glass comes like this. And then they, I also have this size, but I didn't have any more. I just had this one and, um, this is the one my daughter had made that it, it, um, the color um, bled and so it was ruined so I took it out I just had put a little water in the corners and then lifted it with a um, I think the edge of a you know something sharp a pokey tool or something and then to and then lifted it when it was um, the paper was soaked and so I got it out and you just clean it this I could take it out but you know why bother when it's going to be covered? And then um, this glass, I cleaned it off with the um, hand sanitizer, or you can use alcohol. And um, I think there was a rough spot. I used that goo, goo, goo gone or something. So I did use that. So I like this uh, shape. I ordered some more of these, and I ordered some other ones that I liked. Um, th these I got at craft fantastic fantastic and they don't have these anymore these the mirror and the watch I got these several years ago at the craft show and then I got um, these little ones I don't know where I got these but I did put a little um, rabbit in here from the stamps and if you don't know what I mean these are washi stamps I got in mm, Amazon so I, I did unroll a bunch to see, so I'd have, I'd know, you know, which one had, you know, what pattern, so I can see them if I want to use them in cards or other things and at another time. And they come like this in a roll, and you get eight rolls, and I can't remember exactly how much they were, They're probably $14 or so for eight rolls, so I thought that was reasonable you get a lot so that's that so let me just show you um, first how you're going to do that with um, paper so if you just have a, a an image that you like oh I like this image it's so cute so you can use any kind of paper you can use um, your craft paper um, you know anything that you may have like um, uh, paper pads and stuff if you just go bring your paper pad out and get your little glass and you just go over over it over your pattern paper to where you think you might the image you might like and this is upside down oh no some are upside down some are not okay that's in the stamp so 
you're just going to see, you know, the little mushroom. That's kind of cute. Um, but this really small, this one inch. So you're going to want to pick something really tiny. You know, and you might even want to just use part of it. Part of it. Um, so you just go around and see what you like and then cut it, uh, cut it out. Or, like I like to do, is you just um, put it over your pattern paper. And I put a dab. You're going to find something you like. Mm, maybe like this. Okay. And you can put a stamp on it if you like. Stamp something. I mean, just for example, I'm going to stamp this little word on here across, maybe on the side here. And maybe you can't see it, but we're going to go with it anyway because you're going to pick out something even better. And you're going to take your glass and put your glue where you want to where you want to um, put a dab, okay? And then you're going to put it on the center and and just push it in the center to spread the glue all the way to the edges. Make sure that's where you want it. I want a little bit more of that flower. And that's really cute, if you can see. I think I like that. Okay, so then I'm going to just set it aside and wait. And then I'll just cut it out. That's easier for me. Okay, so that's uh, one way you can do that. And where's that other little birdie I had? Okay, I lost him. Okay, so that's how pretty much how I did um, like this one. And you could do it either on the side or in the center. And then you put it in your in your tray. You put the same amount of glue in the center of your tray. Probably um, I would say a quarter quarter of an inch um, a dab. So it's not filling the whole thing because it'll be over flooded but yet you want it to go all the way to the edges so that it, it stays in and then you're going to press it down and then you're going to let it sit there so and then you put it aside okay so that's another uh, way of of doing that oh here i found my birdies but you would do the same way with a glass covering <clears throat> and see how this one inch fits now you see how you have this edge showing. You just cut after you glue it, then you're going to trim it down. And you can put it in your tray, and it looks really cute. As a tiny picture, you have to pick, you have to find these tiny pictures or, or draw your own if you can't draw that tiny. Um, and I'll show you also what you can do. So you can also use stamps. So you can grab a stamp, and I've already stamped some of these. Alright, so I've stamped this one. It's a little bolder. And sometimes if you can't get the whole thing in, like, like say you want to use a circle, and the circle is smaller, you're just going to take this amount, and you'll have, you know, part of a picture. If you can see that. But first, maybe you want to color it, so you would just take your pen colored pencils. Rather than, don't use alcohol because um, it, it may um, bleed. So you're going to use your pencils and just color them up. It's okay if it looks a little more organic than you'd like. Um, you can also use some blue for the background. And if you do this, like, it's not going to cover the um, uh, the brown. 
because it's not going to affect it at all, this light blue. So if you want to use a different color with it, you can always use a colored pencil and color, go around the flower. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put this, first check it. Huh? That's cute. And then you're just going to put your dab of glue in the center. You're going to put your glass on top. It, see how it already fills it up? It's filled up the whole glass. And then you're just going to let it sit. I like it a little bit higher with a little more space. White space there. Now, of course, you can put a little stamp, say, um, wish or something on there. I've done some other ones like that. So you can do that. Uh, let's see. And then when you have this type or this, I'm going to show you what this looks like. If I can find it real quick. Here it is. Okay, so this stamp, this is a stamp, and these are little squares. I don't know, a long time ago, I bought a bunch of these. And so um, I use this stamp, as you can see, okay? So when I stamped it out, it, will, it just black and white. And then I colored it with the pencils and it filled it in. If you use um, this kind of stamp, this is going to be all black or whatever color of ink you use. And um, so if you like that look, that's good. But And then color this pink or yellow and then this green and then these little maybe um, blue. And then you can fill this in also. That would be pretty too. But this is the one I did and I also did this stamp and use part of part of the um, cut part of it so you can see I did this section here for the circle and then I did this one also which is this one So I just colored it first, like this. I this I I really like this um because it's so light, and then you can just color these little flowers and just a dab on the little blue, and um, the flowers. Color it green, and then pick out your image, the portion of your image that you want to keep. And these are different, but. I oh, can use a long one after you color it and decide where you want to cut it off here. Put a word on the side. You want more of the picture. And that would be really pretty too. Even black and white would be pretty. So there's um, ideas are as many as you can think of. Um, that's what art is. So you could do all kinds of things. This is a, a Prima stamp. I had my stash and so I stamped it out in gold for the background however these stamps are big and the glass is small so even even the glass that I have I'll take another one out even the glass on here is not going to cover I mean it's going you know not very much image for this size. So if you want like a bigger necklace, you're going to go to a two, two by, this is two inch by one inch. I think I want to go three inch next time. So I'll probably get some of those. I'll put that to the side. And the last thing I wanted to um, tell you about was if you want to do some um, watercolor, my daughter really liked this that my granddaughter did and uh, she put it in this little watch thing for me she made her her uh, sister-in-law a larger one and um, 
gave it to her. Uh, it was my granddaughter did some painting, um, and it came out very um, flowing looking, like similar to this. And so then you just pick out where you would like to save, you know, the parts of your of your watercolor, and you could stamp it out. I did some stamping, and it looks really cool. Um, I did the, this part of the world, that's Tim Holtz's, and these, uh, let's see, I did a lot of these different kinds of things. Okay, so this is different, I think this is, a, I printed this, okay, so the real one, where is the real one? So that is the printed, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the, I printed this out. Well, I mean, I, I did, I watercolored on here, just free form. And then I did do um, just a pen and ink type of doodling. And so I did it with this pen. It's a, a pilot pen. And you can find these even in the grocery stores. And I did uh, the flowers, and then I stamped this on top. And so, the stamp, I don't know, you know, I just, when I buy stamps, they're like, um, you know, um, at Tuesday morning or on sale, or I'm not a real big stamp person. So, when I do buy them, um, I get them here and there. But I did find this, I don't remember where I got this stamp, do what you love. But I stamped it in there and it came out pretty cute. So um, it also has another portion to it. Uh, I don't think I did that part. Okay, so. Oh, here it is. Okay, so, so that's what it really but I just um, stamped that part, the upper part here, onto this where my doodling was. thought that came out cute, and I think that I would like that as a necklace. But this 2 inch is too small, because I think it'd be cute to have the whole thing like this, but then also with a flower. So I think I'll get a 3 inch and uh, make that into a into a necklace. Okay. Oh, probably like this. Very neat. So you can just play around on the paper and then just, you know, do whatever you think. Um, you'd like after you doodle it on paper, you just get your little glass and see what looks good. So, and then you just Cut it out, put it on, uh, you know, glue it on, cut it out, and it's done. So, also, let me see. So, I'm going to show you that these paints here are just um, from Michaels. They're inexpensive paints. This one's a shimmer, and this one is a, I believe it's flat, matte. But, um, uh, yeah, so they're inexpensive, so... If you don't watercolor, you know, it's best to get that. It works just as well. And I just put it on my board here because then it doesn't buckle the paper. And then I just get a, a brush. What you want to do is get your paints and you're going to put a heavy amount of, of water on your paint. So you're going to put a lot of water in here and let it sit there for a second. Just kind of swish it around. And you can put it on your, on here. I have a, I have a um, enamel brush that I like to use. It works much better. See how the paint just sits there? Okay, so, 
I'm just going to do this and put it on here. Maybe you put a lot of water. And this is just to get a wash, just so that you have, you know, on your paper to have some color for the background. And so I'm just going to do this. This is a shimmer, so. And then you can either do a straight line like that with some purple. You could do a swirl. You could move the paint, move it a bit so it has some movement. You can try another color. Just splash it on. Put a little more of this yellow on it. And if you want to keep the edges, you want to let it dry. So I'm going to do something else while that's drying on that side. And so you're going to get those kind of edges that have like this, like this edge here, if you let it dry. And it'll pretty much stay there. You can always um, blot it a bit if you don't want that much color. And um, you can blot it and it comes up. This paper, by the way, is Bristol. It is, you can get this at Michael's or any of the craft stores. Bristol smooth surface and I recommend that over the papers that are um, you know watercolor because it holds too much water I think that's what my daughter used is the watercolor and so so that's what she used and I think that's why she had that problem So anyway, this is, now if you want something more like um, grungy, um, I think you could use a, a brown. Let's use kind of a beigey color over here. It's kind of orangey. Just kind of soak this up a teeny bit. So it's already dried some right there. See that? Pretty fast. If you want to add more of the brown, it could just, and then it's going to swirl a bit with that. Um, other color because it's wet. You can tip it and get a little bit more drip marks if you want more drip marks. And it's just fun, right? <laughs> just experiment, play with it. I think it's fun. And Okay, so that's um, that's that part. Always dry your brush, rinse it, and, and then point it and lay it flat to dry. And after it's dry, you can stick it back in your uh, cup or container. But I think this is going to be fun to use, a piece of, of watercolor paper. And let's see, let's go back over here and check these out this one and, and this one I don't think it's quite dry so I will just cut it anyway because you guys are going to get bored <laughs> I'm not much
much of a talker, so I uh, will bore you, I think, if I don't get these, do something. Yeah, so you let, let it dry a little bit longer. And that's pretty. And what I want to do is do some um, small ones. So I did order some tiny ones like this and hearts and things. And so that's going to be fun to make, um, you know, bracelets and stuff. Uh, I did want to also say that if you don't want to use that, you want it to stick out more. found this paper in my stash. <laughs> so I put a border of, of gold. And so it's it's so fun. You're going to have to... Did you see that? I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I found it in my stash. I don't even know what I have, you know? Isn't that sad? But because I'm trying to um, fix up my craft room... This is a makes a little gold border. So, also, I found this, and I'm one to buy things at um, Tuesday morning. You can tell, except for nowadays because they are my Tuesday morning has nothing. But this is look at here washi tape foil, and look at this is that raised kind, the kind of like glitter like. And then it also has these. There's several sheets of these because they're so thin. And it has rose gold. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I had this. So, <laughs> so I'm glad that I have those. But let me see. Is there one more I haven't cut? Oh yes, this one. And so if I don't really like these later, what I'm going to do is just take off the backing. This is just more or less for um, purposes of of showing you how you can do these. Yeah. And you might like to make some for gifts. I think they come out really cute and you can make them using your own style and, or there's something that the people um, who you want to give it to really likes. If they like antique style or some kind of Mm, vintage and you can do that if you have some papers that are vintage and you you know you really liked it um, you can do that but um, let's see the memories is not to be better to put it like here where there's more um, space for that but um, You can decide which way to do it. I also have these ones, these squares, and I don't have pens for these. And so what I did was just to um, do a picture on top, and then I put on the back on a paper, pattern paper. And so let me see where it went. Here it is. Okay, so these, this type, you can do um, a pattern picture. This is, you know, the stamp. And I just put happy on there. And on the back, I did put pattern paper here. And then I put a bale. These are called bales. And you can get these um, at the craft, uh, uh, you know, Michael's, I think. Any of those places they usually have. I didn't see them. Yes, Joanne's has them. Um, two. I didn't see them. I don't think I... I can't remember if I saw them Hobby Lobby or not. Okay, so anyway, you can get those. And I use E6000 for the back of, of this. It looks like this. You use these for jewelry or metal, wood, um, those kind of things. And it stays a little bit better. So, you can... It's... It's endless what you can make. So, um, you guys, hope you guys try that or if you like to try that. <laughs> and have a really good week and weekend coming up. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.